So today we're going to install um, Iancio. So head on over to iancio.net website and then you can go to one or two pages. You can either find the link down here in the download section. It's just one big link to the download area or you can go to software and manuals at the top here as well. So I'm just going to choose this one down the bottom. And then we come into this page uh, where the links are. Now you can either download the Windows version uh, which is an exe executable file or you can go for the zip format version but it's also got the Linux and the Apple Mac versions in it and Windows in it all in one so that'll be quite a big file today I'm just going to install it on Windows 10 so I'm just going to go for the uh, Windows full installer which is around 120 to 130 megabytes in size so I've downloaded the file and I've created a folder called Iancio and I've put it on the top area of the C drive. So if we just double click into that, then we've got our executable file here. Then I'm just going to double click on that as well. And it's saying, should I extract it to C Iancio? Yeah, that's fine for me. So I'm just going to click on extract. There is um, an installation uh, document. So if you go to the Ancio um, software page, there is a document which um, tells you about how to install the system on all three versions on the Windows, the Mac, and if I scroll down to the um, Linux operating system on here as well, and then it talks about how you update it once you've installed it. Right, so that's finished the extraction, and here's all my files. So the file that I'm going to run now is the setup underscore xampp dot bat file. I'm just going to double click on that, and that's opening up a window. It says press any key to continue. Okay, so next up, I'm then going to double click on the xamp control exe file and then I'm going to start Apache and I'm going to start my SQL as well I'm going to allow access I'm going to start my SQL as well and allow access now they should both be running now I'm going to minimize that window and I'm going to go back to this browser and then I'm going to enter local host. I'm going to enter http forward slash local host and see what happens. Okay, so here we are. So it says no competition selected. I'm going to say I've read the agreement to the license. And that was really quick and simple to set up. So new competition, open, import, modules, which is update. So let's click here and check for an update. Your installation is about to be automatically updated. Okay. Not much feedback at the moment, just a blank screen and a working symbol. Surprised if it needs an update actually, if it's just if you just downloaded it straight away from the website. I thought that would have been the most up-to-date version. So I was expecting it to come back and say uh, no update required. Okay, so it's done quite lots of different things. It's updated lots and lots and lots of files. The upgrade process is finished, it says at the bottom. So let's go back to the home page by typing in uh, localhost again. So you could always bookmark this to localhost because this is where the, uh, the start page is. So that was it really. Really quick and easy to uh, install. So just to recap, we just downloaded it from the, the executable file for Windows from the eancio.net website. We double clicked on the executable file and uh, selected where we wanted the files to be uh, extracted to. And then once you've done that, it's just a matter 
of uh, waiting for it to uh, extract all the files. And then from there, we double clicked on two separate files. And then we started up Apache, which is a web server. And then we started up the MySQL database as well. And that's still running in the background. From then on, we then just basically uh, pointed our web browser to uh, localhost. And then we saw the start screen for Eancio. So just remember that you need to have the Apache web server and the MySQL database running all the time in order to use Eancio. If at any time you need to check that, then open up the XAMP uh, hyphen control .exif window and or run the file and see that check that they're actually running as that could be the main problem why you can't connect to um, Eancio. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's just a start of uh, my Eancio videos. So we're going to learn how to set up competitions and how to get reports out and things like that. So uh, please look out for the other videos that are coming after this one, all about Eancio. Thanks for watching. Uh, give us a like if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like archery videos. See you soon.